Good morning mga nakatag and as we all know today is April 2nd. Mm. Alam mo ba na importante ang sin-celebrate natin? It's World Autism Awareness Day. At syempre, I'm sure maraming mga tanong ang ating mga kabayan dito sa UAE and if I remember the correctly, meron ding mga grupo na mga kabayan natin na na-invite natin before a bluebird na to tell us more about uh, diba, uh, autism awareness. Day. Kaya nga, kaya nga sa, sa, during sa time na yun, doon ako nalaman na ang, ang araw na to, ang purpose pala nito ay uh, pala nun mag-raise ng awareness at saka promote acceptance of people with uh, autism spectrum disorder or kaya EASD. Oo, kaya napakaswerte natin ngayong umaga dahil makakasama natin ang clinical manager and medical director ng ABLE U na sasagutin ang mga questions natin and give us awareness nga ngayong umaga si Mr. Robin Vergara. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, sir. Good morning po. Maraming maraming salamat po for this opportunity that like you know, we could help raise awareness when it comes to autism and other like you know, developmental conditions that people are actually experiencing like you know, at this po- point of time. Mm. Okay, jump so in agad ako ng isang katanungan. So, uh, ito pa para naman sa mga parents to eh. So, How can, paano ba yung mga parents na ma-identify nila yung early signs of autism in children at saka paano sila or saan sila uh, makahanap ng appropriate na support at saka resources? I understand. So, sa panahon po ngayon, right, uh, a lot of educational resources are available. A lot of help are actually available. Like, you know, for parents or for families to easily, like, you know, realize if their children or family member is experiencing this kind of conditions, A lot of available resources are like, you know, in the internet. They can compare the typical milestones that are expected for a child to develop. And if they notice that their child or a family member is not meeting those typical milestones a child should develop on an age or developmental basis, and that could be an indication po mm-hmm. na, okay, maybe there is a concern or maybe there is something that we need to check. And also these days... There's a lot of help available. There's a lot of professionals that are available to provide support or help and like you know guide them on what could be the process of us helping these people or these children for them to develop and achieve achieve their maximum potential, okay? So you have your developmental pediatricians, we have uh, clinicians like us who directly provide like you know intervention services Okay, for these children, we have your behavior analyst, occupational therapist, and mainly speech and language pathologist who could also guide when it comes to developing an uh, individualized intervention plan for these children. Gusto ko lang malaman, um, paano to nakaka-affect in terms of their social interaction and communication with, uh, other, with kids other kids or kids, other people? With other kids, other people. Oh. Actually, when we define autism spectrum disorder, it's a spectrum, so it means it's it's quite wide. There's no, like, you know, clear-cut definition or criteria or signs and symptoms, to be honest. But the main defining criteria of autism spectrum disorder is they have difficulties when it comes to communication and it affects their social interaction because of the deficits when it comes to their communication. Mm-hmm. And they also engage in some forms of let's say, repetitive behaviors that are not quite, like, you know, norm when it comes to society. Mm-hmm. And this kind of deficit actually, like, you know, hinders them to actually interact or participate in the community. Imagine if a person could actually not be able to express his emotions yeah. or even basic needs, mm-hmm. okay? Then it's going to be also difficult for them to initiate an interaction or engage in conversation or in any simple interaction with with other people, okay? And also with these difficulties, it could lead them to engage in some forms of other maladaptive behaviors because they don't have a choice. Mm-hmm. They will have their motivation to communicate, but the socially appropriate way of doing these things or communicating are the actual deficits that are actually they're facing on a day-to-day basis. So it, it's going to be really difficult for them to be in this social context or social situation. And since nabanggit mo nga, eh, dahil nga sabi natin, di ba yung autism spectrum disorder, medyo wide. Yes. Yan eh. Hindi mo ma-pinpoint you uh, cannot kung pinpoint. ano. Oo. But gusto ko lang malaman, can they um, outgrow this or may cure ba 
uh, sa ASD. I see. Actually, that's the one um, major misconception. I think uh, people or the society thinks that uh, that it can be actually cured or outgrown. Uh, to be very honest, whatever you go, any part of the world, ask any scientists or doctors. Uh, up to this moment of time, there's no cure yet. Mm. Okay, it's it's not a disease. It's a neurodevelopmental condition. Mm. Okay, but uh, given that that they're saying that there's no cure yet, at the same time it cannot be outgrown. Mm. But given that point of information, it doesn't mean that it's it's the end of the world. Mm. Okay, there's a lot of help. Okay, there's a lot of support available and. Even though there's no cure or it cannot be out- outgrown, it's not the end of the world. They can live, like, you know, their lives independently. Mm. I always tell to parents or people that I talk to, I have five main mission or five words with my mission when it comes to, like, you know, helping children or families affected with autism and under other developmental conditions. Uh, my goal is not to cure them because it's not curable. But my goal is for them to be uh, fully participative member of the community. Mm. Wherein, it doesn't mean that there's a label. I mean, there will be a label, but if they are able to be independent, fend themselves, do things that they like, express, participate in social interaction, have a living, Mm -hmm. and do things on their own, then the label is just there. But you, as a participative member of the society, I guess that will be great. Mm. Okay. E eh, para naman sa mga kaibigan, like ako or yung mga anak ko, may kaibigan silang uh, may ganitong ma- mga bata. Mm. So gusto ko lang ma- 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 marinig galing sa iyo. Meron ba, meron ka bang maibigay na mga tips or strategies na may recommend para sa mga friend na mga children with autism to foster positive and meaningful interactions? Yes. I think that is a very, very important question that needs to be addressed. Uh, I believe when, like, the usual people encounter, let's say, children or even adults with this kind of condition, Mm -hmm. the most important thing that we will need to do is, if we are encountering this kind of, like, you know, people with this condition, and you think they're having a very difficult time in a social situation, we need to be thinking of ways on how can we make the situation more comfortable for them? Or how can we make the situation more adaptable for them? Maybe we need to change something from ourselves mm-hmm. on how we interact with them. Or maybe we can change something from the environment so it could be easier for these people to adapt. I believe there's two main keywords that will lead to this, okay? It's, accept- it's acceptance and empathy, okay? If we accept that, Like, you know, we encounter people with these developmental conditions and there's nothing wrong with them, okay? And that empathy that if you put yourself in their place, what could, like, you know, you do to make the social situation better and more adaptable for them? I think this will be a good start for everyone. And also, like, you know, educating ourselves, okay? Educating ourselves in terms of what is the condition, what are their difficulties, because if we educate ourselves and educate other people, it's like, like you know, pay it forward. Mm-hmm. Then it will be a very big help for a lot of people to understand how can we really help and be fostering a learning environment for people and mainly children uh, experiencing this developmental condition. Ano mas magandang uh, ona mong reaction sa kanila? Like meron silang ginawang para sa yo hindi sa normal. Hayaan mo sila or pigilan? Well, there are different ways on like, you know, dealing in that situation. But the number one priority that we always maintain is safety. Okay. If you are unsure of what happened on how you will deal with it, but make sure they are safe. Okay. Safety is the number one thing. Okay. That we will need to maintain. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then secondly, let's say you know what's the reason why it happened. Okay, you can go down to the level of the child, try to understand the child, stay with the child, okay? Do not ignore the child because definitely that is an incorrect thing to do, Mm. ignoring them, making them feel that no one is actually minding them or Mm. no one is actually responding them. Go down to their level and try to understand what they're expressing because that's the main reason why they're doing those unusual or maladaptive behaviors because it's so difficult for them 
to express themselves or even to express their basic needs. Mm-mm. Yeah. Sa sa inyo ba, Robin? Do you actually uh, have those probably seminars or uh, teach or educate then among uh, families? Now, how to deal uh, in terms of having um, family members that is uh, on the autism spectrum? Yes, uh, we do have. Uh, uh, at ABLE UK, the pediatric rehabilitation center that I am working, Okay, we do provide different programs that mainly also target okay, parent education. Okay. Let's say uh, their child is enrolled in our uh, facility. Okay, definitely they're receiving the intervention services that they are, like you know, supposed to receive mm-hmm. or depending on their need. But part of the program, which is not an extra cost, not an extra appointment, not an extra timing, we do invite parents to be inside their child's actual therapy session, wherein mm-hmm. we convert it as a coaching session, wherein. The therapist will exchange position with the parents. Mommy or daddy, you do it. I'm here. I'll tell you what to do. Show me how you're dealing with it. And I will correct you if you are doing something that needs to be corrected. Oh, nice. So you can replicate things at home because that will make things faster when it comes to the progress of their child. Secondly, yes, uh, we do provide free parent workshops Okay, uh, in our facility. And especially in this a month of autism awareness. This is usually where uh, we do, like, you know, conduct these projects or these programs wherein we invite parents to attend workshops and different professionals or different disciplines will provide their presentations wherein it will provide parents an insight on how they can further support their child or their family member, like, you know, having this condition. As a matter of fact, uh, on the 28th of April at ABLE UK, okay, uh, we are conducting a free parent workshop, especially, like, you know, with Awesome Family Journey uh, group that we are, like, you know, helping, the Filipino community group, okay, with children or family members with special needs, okay? We invite them regularly for these workshops, okay? It's an interactive workshop. Mm. It's not a boring one, okay? <laughs> we, we ask them to participate in activities so it can really motivate them that, oh, I know now, this is the purpose of these things. This is the reason why I need to do this with my child or with this family member. Because the more you understand the need or the purpose, the more you will actually do it. Para naman sa na, na, nakinig sa atin, paano kanila makontak, paano sila makasali? Okay, so for those listeners who are interested on learning about autism and other developmental conditions, or for those families who ha- have a child or family members okay, affected by this condition, you can actually visit our social media pages in Facebook. Just uh, search ABLE UK. It's A-B-L-E UK. Okay. And you can see there the programs that we're offering and especially this kind of workshops. In Instagram, it's also ABLE UK. It's the same name. So you can also visit. Our website is able.ae or A-B-L-E dot A-E. So also our events and workshops are all announced there also. Ayan, marami yeah. natutunan this morning, Bluebird. So there you have it. Thank you so much. Nakasama nga natin ang clinical manager and medical director ng ABLE UK, Mr. Robin Vergara. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Robin. Thank you so much po. Tag 91.1 Pinoy talaga!